Come, Holy Spirit, and fill our hearts with the balm of your healing love. Amen. The pattern for many leaders is to be exalted in life and forgotten after death. The pattern for all who serve God, famous or obscure, respected or ignored, is that death is the door to glory. Her late majesty famously declared on a 21st birthday broadcast that her whole life would be dedicated to serving the nation and commonwealth. Rarely has such a promise been so well kept. Few leaders receive the outpouring of love that we have seen. Jesus, who in our reading does not tell his disciples how to follow, but who to follow, said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Her late majesty's example was not set through her position or her ambition, but through whom she followed. I know His Majesty shares the same faith and hope in Jesus Christ as His Mother, the same sense of service and duty. In 1953, the Queen began her coronation with silent prayer, just there, at the high altar. Her allegiance to God was given before any person gave allegiance to her. Her service to so many people in this nation, the Commonwealth and the world, had its foundation in her following Christ, God himself, who said that he came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. People of loving service are rare in any walk of life. Leaders of loving service are still rarer. But in all cases, those who serve will be loved and remembered when those who cling to power and privileges are long forgotten. The grief of this day, felt not only by the late Queen's family, but all round the nation, the Commonwealth and the world, arises from her abundant life and loving service, now gone from us. She was joyful, present to so many, touching a multitude of lives. And we pray today especially for all her family, grieving as every family at a funeral, including so many families around the world who have themselves lost someone recently. But in this family's case, doing so in the brightest spotlight. May God heal their sorrow May the gap left in their lives be marked with memories of joy and life. Her late majesty's broadcast during COVID lockdown ended with, we will meet again. Words of hope from a song of Vera Lynn. Christian hope means certain expectation of something not yet seen. Christ rose from the dead and offers life to all, abundant life now and life with God in eternity. As the Christmas carol says, where meek souls will receive him, still the dear Christ 
enters in. We will all face the merciful judgment of God. We can all share the Queen's hope, which in life and death inspired her servant leadership. Service in life, hope in death. All who follow the Queen's example and inspiration of trust and faith in God can with her say, we will meet again. In confidence and trust, let us pray to the Father. Let us give thanks to God for Queen Elizabeth's long life and reign, recalling with gratitude her gifts of wisdom, diligence, and service. O God, from whom cometh everything that is upright and true. Accept our thanks for the gifts of heart and mind that thou didst bestow upon thy daughter Elizabeth, and which she showed forth among us in her words and deeds. And through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for all those 
whose hearts are heavy with grief and sorrow. Almighty God, Father of all mercies and giver of all comfort, deal graciously, we pray thee, with those who mourn, that casting every care on thee, they may know the consolation of thy love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for his majesty the King and all the royal family, that they may know the sustaining power of God's love and the prayerful fellowship of God's people. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, we humbly beseech thee to bless our most gracious Sovereign Lord, King Charles, Camilla, the Queen Consort, William, Prince of Wales, and all the royal family. Endure them with thy Holy Spirit, enrich them with thy heavenly grace, prosper them with all happiness, and bring them to thine everlasting kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In recognition of Queen Elizabeth's service to this United Kingdom, let us rejoice in her unstinting devotion to duty, her compassion for her subjects, and her counsel to her ministers. And we pray for the continued health and prosperity of this nation. Almighty God, whose will it is that all thy children should serve thee in serving one another, look with love, we pray thee, on this nation. Grant to its citizens grace to work together with honest and faithful hearts each caring for the good of all, that seeking first thy kingdom and its righteousness, they may possess all things needful for their daily sustenance and the common good. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us give thanks for Queen Elizabeth's commitment to the Commonwealth throughout her reign for her service and dedication to its people, and for the rich bonds of unity and mutual support she sustained. O almighty and everlasting God, hear our prayer for the Commonwealth, and grant it the guidance of thy wisdom. Inspire those in authority that they may promote justice and the common good. Give to all its citizens the spirit of mutual honor and respect, and grant to us all grace to strive for the establishment of righteousness and peace, for the honor of thy name. Amen. We give thanks to God for Queen Elizabeth's loyalty to the faith she inherited through her baptism and confirmation and affirmed at her coronation, for her unswerving devotion to the gospel and for her steadfast service as Supreme Governor of the Church of England. Lord, we beseech thee to keep thy household, the Church, in continual godliness that through thy protection she may be free from all adversities and devoutly given to serve thee in all good works to the glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray that we may be given grace to live as those who believe in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins and the resurrection to eternal life. In confidence and hope, let us pray to the Father in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us commend to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer, the soul of Elizabeth, our late Queen. Heavenly Father, King of kings, Lord and giver of life, who of thy grace in creation didst form mankind in thine own image, and in thy great love, offerest us life eternal in Christ Jesus, claiming the promises of thy most blessed Son, we entrust the soul of Elizabeth, our sister here departed, to thy merciful keeping, in sure and so certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, when Christ shall be all in all who died and rose again to save us, and now liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit in glory for ever. Amen. Go forth, O Christian soul, from this world. In the name of God the Father Almighty who created thee, in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who suffered for thee. In the name of the Holy Spirit, who was poured out upon thee and anointed thee. In communion with all the blessed saints and aided by the angels and archangels and all the armies of the heavenly host, may thy portion this day be in peace and thy dwelling 
in the heavenly Jerusalem. Amen. grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the king, the commonwealth, and all people, peace and concord, and to us sinners, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always.